Today's topic, couples goal setting. This is something we do yearly um, and we review quarterly. Mm -hmm. um, and we're excited to really get into this topic and share why this has been super helpful for us yeah. as we sit on the end of our trip <laughs> in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, I feel like one of the cool things about it is that one of our big goals for this year in 2024 was to do this Hawaii trip. So yeah. we've been here for two months um, and that was something that we set as a goal um, a while back, you know, like a year ago. Yeah, and then, yeah. uh, you know, we've kind of worked our way towards it. Now we're here, we're coming to the end of our trip. Um, so it's just a great reminder of, you know, why we want to continue to set these goals yeah. um, and how you can do it as a couple to really move, your, move yourself forward. Yeah. I love it. All right, so the way we usually do these goal setting dates is we usually do them at New Year's Eve, leave the kids with the grandparents, get some time alone, um, go on this date and really just look at our goals from the year prior and write new goals that we have for the year. Yeah, yeah, I love kind of re like reviewing how this how the past year went for yes. us it's really nice to just remember some of the wins that we had yeah. some of the positives um positive changes that we made yeah. some of the goals that we hit and yeah. then kind of get a reminder on the ones that we had maybe been intentional about but mm -hmm. didn't reach or had kind of forgotten about throughout the year so it's a nice way to kind of just reset yeah. and then the second half of the the dinner we usually focus on like the year ahead mm -hmm. and it's pretty casual like Very casual. you know we're out on a date we're yeah. at dinner we bring notebooks yep. um but it's not like anything too intense where we have a whiteboard or anything like that all right and I love that we get to really sit down, write this out, because it helps us be accountable throughout the mm. year. Like we have something that we're like, okay, this is the goals we want to accomplish. I feel like in the busyness of being parents, you can easily forget these goals. But once you write them down, you're like, okay, I'm gonna be intentional. And you already have an accountability partner to yeah. be like, hey, remember this is our goal. And checking in quarterly has been super helpful to making sure we're staying on track. And the other part about it is like, if we've set these goals together, yeah. um, um, it's it's great for accountability, but it's also you know gets us on the same page yes. and make sure you know throughout the year we actually know what we're wanting to work on together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like it, you know, it helps not have as much conflict in the home. Hundred percent. We're we're on the same page. We yeah. know what we want to accomplish. If there are certain things I want to remind her about or keep her accountable for, and there's or things that I'm yourself. doing that yeah. she'd like to. Um, you know, keep me accountable <laughs> for, you know, we can kind of revisit it in the way of, Hey, we set these goals. Here's what we wanted to focus on. Is this something that's new that's come up that we want to make more of a priority? Um, or are we kind of getting off track here and want to okay. refocus some of the, the areas that we set goals in are like spiritual, um, marriage goals, uh, goals around kids yeah. and education and learning all that type of stuff. Um, health, um, health and wellness, business or um, finances, uh, personal growth and like intellectual, like family, family growth. Um, and we mentioned kind of wealth and finances, social. So what we kind of want to do from like a social perspective, that's some of the areas that we set goals in. Yeah. Um, but we give ourselves, you know, some freedom. Some too. Room. Mm -hmm. I love talking about this because I think it's so interesting that when we were on the journey of goal setting together, we couldn't find like a family goal setting sheet or a guide. And we actually developed one that we've been using and has been working really well for us. So this is gonna be something that we're sharing with you guys. So maybe it can help you and your family. Yeah, there's a link below if you want to download, it's totally free. Yeah. Um, but we just use it and we thought it might be helpful for, for you to kind of um, get a framework yeah. for what, what type of goals you might want to set or, focus areas um, and then we kind of talked about it a little bit but Hawaii like two months here in Hawaii was one of the big goals that we okay. set so it's just now it's really nice to be here and have accomplished it and we're going home in a few days and I feel like it's so awesome to be able to be like I I feel like when you don't really have it written down sometimes you just are like oh yeah that just happened right mm -hmm. but really knowing oh my gosh there was so much work effort and thought that went into that and this is something we've been really working on for the whole year it gives you that like wow empowerment that joy that just kind of hits different you know yep 
I also think that it's a good point to bring up the way we did it a little different this year is we both took the sheet and pre did it and like kind of because I feel like sometimes when you're doing it together you get very oh 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 he said that let me put that on my sheet but we each took some time to complete our family goal sheet then we came together at our di dinner right mm -hmm. and kind of reviewed oh wow are we on the same page oh okay we can we just have to like meet in the middle on this and it was actually really interesting because we're very aligned on most things and there were like things that he brought up that I was like oh my gosh yeah I to totally forgot and the other way around yeah definitely and I feel like you just brought up a good point in terms of like preparation I feel like it's great to kind of get an idea of what you want to talk about before yes. you go out for this dinner yeah um, so I feel like you know we did some time just individually prepping coming up with the questions we wanted to ask each other um, thinking about areas that we wanted to focus on and then that just makes it more productive when you get to the, to the dinner and a little bit more fun you know we've already done some of that pre-work can have some drinks yes. have some good food um, and you know get the conversation going uh, pretty quickly and yeah I, I kind of think back to years ago our first goal set and date and Dylan actually had initiated this idea and he had bought us both like it was like journals mm -hmm. or and and you brought them to the dinner and I remember like sitting there being like oh my gosh like how is this gonna go and I just like from that day I love that idea but I love being able to be like prepared for it because then I'm like going in there and we're both going in there like ready to talk about this yeah 100 yeah. percent and I feel like it's, a, it's an awesome opportunity if you and your spouse, or you feel like you haven't been getting support from your spouse in like a particular area, yeah. it's an awesome opportunity to like, just raise that as a, yeah. as a um, concern yeah. or bring attention to it and just say, hey, this is something that is actually really important to me. Yes. Um, and in that, when that space is created, it's, okay. you know, people are gonna, your spouse hopefully is gonna take you a lot more seriously. They're gonna yeah. realize, oh, this is not just something that you're, you know, bringing up randomly. Yes. So actually you've been intentional about it, you've thought about it, and you know, you've brought it to me during this this time when we're working on it together. So. I love that. That's such an important point to bring up. I feel like it's really awesome. Once you've done this for, you know, a year or two, or you start having those quarterly check-ins, you can actually look back and see the progress that you're making. Yes. Sometimes it's easy to forget, like, how much we've accomplished, um, and how much progress we've made in right, different areas. Right. But when we actually have something to look back on and be like, oh yeah, that's where we were, you know, last year or right. six months ago, it's a great reminder. And I feel like it helps me just um, refocus and, and uh, be a little bit more positive about like the progress we're making. Right. And I think that it goes to the importance of being grateful, right? Of mm. Because I feel like a lot of times, like you said, things will just happen and you're like, wow. But I feel like when you're kind of looking back at your journey, it gives you that another moment to just be grateful for what you have now and know that it wasn't just a walk in the park, right? Like you really worked hard for that. So yeah. it's a good reminder. You know, we're a few years into this. We yeah. still have young kids, but yeah. we have, a, you know, we have ideas to kind of keep taking this to the next level. Right. You know, like a lot of companies hold like company kickoffs for the year. Yes, they go yes. out for like retreats with all the employees. Yeah. We want to do something similar like for that with our family. We want to hold family like annual family <laughs> retreats yes. where we do an awesome vacation, go out somewhere inspiring, um, you know, do fun things as a family, but then also get together, set goals, yeah. may, you know, and then have an opportunity to revisit those um, annually. So we have, you know, we have ideas to kind of keep taking this to the next level, but we just say have fun with it get creative, um, focus on the things that are super important to you all and be open-minded. Yeah, that was so good. Thanks everyone. Have a good day. Have a great Bye. week. <laughs>